Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kavya Sama. Love is War, season three, episode number three. Okay, the previous episode, oh boy, uh, Miko and Ishigami, they uh, they tried to become better friends uh, with the help of the president and the glasses girl who always uh, moves, like, kind of hangs around with uh, uh, Ino. Now I forgot her name though. Now, what happened is basically them trying, giving them different missions, and in the end of it, uh, none of it worked properly because Shirogane gave very weird tasks, which none of them were ready to do. <laughs> but at the same time, it really showed how their personality kind of matched. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know like it was kind of like uh, the whole like you know funny thing like happened and like all these different tasks they weren't unable to do it and uh, yeah it was a mess but we kind of saw that yeah their personalities are kind of the same so they kind of it they kind of work out weirdly enough in their own way um that was that another uh, the next section we had um hayasaka going with uh not going but tailing the president to a mixer <laughs> because kaguya told her to do so and um obviously like you know more shenanigans because uh, <laughs> the president knew hayasaka before and you know all that stuff and she kind of like you know went <laughs> you know played her part too well and uh, Shirogane was kind of leaving, uh, you know, like, and then the whole thing about fake, you know, like, uh, the fake personality and, you know, how you should not show your original self. So because other people will not like you, that's like Hayasaka's take on the whole thing. That whole thing came up where Shirogane was presented with the question, like, can you show you your true self to others? Where Shirogane wasn't able to answer properly. Uh, but by the end of it, Takano Shogun saves her from one pushy guy, and Hasaka was like, <laughs> Hasaka was like, you know, gave Kaguya like, you know, like a, a warning that yeah, she is going to actually try to do the challenge that she had with Kaguya before of seducing the president, and uh, yeah, Kaguya was completely like <laughs> crazy. He, she brought Chika in, but like you know, by the end of it, we kind of see it was nothing like that. Obviously, because Hayasaka, I'm I'm sure Hayasaka did that because she wanted uh, Kaigo to be more proactive. But ha Hayasaka did not know the terror of Shirogane's rapping, so yeah, she unfortunately became a victim there. <laughs> and yeah, that's how it ended. Fantastic uh, episode. Let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number three of season three. So let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is your preference and let's start. Alright, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised there's a lot of characters we never saw before like the fast part of the opening so we're going to meet all of them which I like you know like I like whenever like new characters get added in a show Like before this, uh, we were just four of us. Yeah, Shirogane, Ishigami, Kaguya, and Chika. But now Miko came in, and like you know, like I, I, I don't know if there will be any more additions to the student council. But you know, like um, I would like that if there are more additions. It, it's kind of going to make this whole thing more funnier. Or oh. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's that girl, the one. Nagi Nagisa Kashiwaka wants to kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
which you want to kill. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, lunch break. Is it is this the same same girl who kind of? <laughs> is that the girl who stalks him? Yeah, definitely. Kaga is definitely going to say that. Borderline. That's true. <laughs> what? Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. It's a little cold article. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Yo, calm down, you know. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! My God! <laughs> yeah, what did you find? There you go. Okay. But. I'm sure there's a butt here. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my. Oh, they it probably buying some birthday present for her or something. I'm I'm sure it's some birthday present for the girl. There you go. He probably asked her like for some advice for a gift for her and that's what is happening here. Oh wait. Okay. That was unexpected. <laughs> wait, what? Why is she She doesn't want that. Yeah, she's like, no, that never happened. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe that's... Oh, no. I was going to say maybe that's a sister, but no. That's a classmate, not a sister. Sorry. Ah! Uh Wow, Kaguya is like... What the hell is happening? Is it practicing rapping? <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? Okay. I feel like it's probably a birthday present or something. It's probably something like that. Okay. Okay. What the? There you go. I was correct. Not birthday, but all right. That. I knew it. This is one of the most common tropes in visual novels and animes. I've seen this so many times. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> what? But, yeah, obviously. <laughs> the 360! <laughs> Not 360, 180, sorry. Okay, well, um, 
Oh my god, it's okay, it's censored thankfully. <laughs> yes, definitely. Recommended the lame one on purpose. It is that girl. It is that oh my god. <laughs> Maki Shojo wants to take action, Shijo. Uh, uh. Here comes the 180. Come on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Inspiration. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> well, obviously, who are you? <laughs> Third. What? Oh, really? Oh my god. Okay. Ignormuses. <laughs> Come on. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow, she's like complete Kaguya. Kind of. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Ishigami is like, I'm seeing a pattern here. Oh no, not Ishigami, sorry, Shirogane. Ah, wow, yes, not slightly, I think majorly. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, convince yourself more. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> True. She's been stalking him for like two seasons, so... Hmm... <laughs> uh... Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Ishigami. Ishigami. Ishigami, calm down. 
Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's definitely like wow. Yeah, she's definitely Kaga's relative. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I wonder how Oh my god, yeah. They they <laughs> They are not friends. Okay. Uh, she's she, wow she is a storm oh no oh no yo <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're very similar. <laughs> there you go, nice. Did she really win? Oh, okay, yeah. If you think of it in that way, yeah. <laughs> Poor girl. Mugi Shirogane wants to be believed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Kaga knows about it. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Why are you asking her? Okay. What? Where is Japan? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what is that? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Lie detector, what? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, they're gonna shuffle it. Makes sense. Tree. Tree. Ooh, Shirogane, Kaguya. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh! Yeah. I'm sure Shirogane will say no. One. <laughs> okay, who is it? Is it is it Chica? <laughs> she probably was, I'm I'm sure she said yes. Oh, sorry, not yes, no. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. My god, that's even heavier. I'm sure no one will... There you go! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay Jimmy oh my god Scarvia Oh no! Yeah! Damn! Big rain! Oh my god! <laughs> Find that one. Yeah. But if it's I'll be, okay. Okay. <laughs> Loose woman. What was it? One. Yeah, no pinpointing. Okay. Who is it? Wait. Switch. Oh my god. How did he have that year's? <laughs> How the hell did he have that year? Oh my god. Rogue Among Us. Uh... Oh. I feel like Chica also probably knew. It'll probably be two or three. Yes. I knew it. Yep. Well. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he she knows.
<laughs> well, <laughs> well, Kaga clearly wins this one. Oh, she's not gonna lose this one. Either of it. The result is a mystery. Love detective team. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Turn it on. <laughs> I love this shot. <laughs> she kind of bought the cap. <laughs> she takes off the cap. Okay, that's it. Yep. Wow, what an episode. <laughs> Damn, I feel like today's episode was filled with, like, you know, like, you know, like the whole, like, you know, romantic, what do you call it? Tension of whether you like me or don't like me, whether you're cheating or not, or not cheating, that kind of thing. <laughs> All these sections had some kind of a tension like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so wow it starts with this girl um what's her name uh nagisa i think yeah nagisa her name is nagisa isn't it yeah so she is like oh my boyfriend is cheating on me and i love the fact that actually the first section you know where she comes like uh, you know uh, to asking for help is towards uh, like on look like, it's on not on sorry uh like he she came to ask for help to uh kaguya and um ino while the other girl she went to not went but she was found by uh the president and um ishigami so she asked help from them now <laughs> Which kind of again makes this so like I like you know I remember the boy the the other the boy who's dating her, she like he came to ask for help to Ishigami and Shirogami, so it's kind of like you know this like you know this kind of like a divide between them where both like you know have their own uh, collaborators you could say or like you know supporters, uh, <laughs> and the other girl also like Kaguya's um cousin yeah cousin. Uh, she also like you know is asking for uh, Shirogane and Ishigami's help. <laughs> okay, so it starts with <coughs> her saying like, "Oh, like he's cheating," and uh, why? Because she, he, and the other girl was talking. Now here's the funny thing: <laughs> like the the guy had no idea even you know about all of this happening, and you know like he had no he just wanted to ask help to that girl for uh, an anniversary present so he asked her for help because of that while the the girl nagitsa she's actually thinking that oh that like you know he's cheating while the girl who he asked for help to that's kaguya's cousin she also wanted to probably spend time with him and as she said she tried to sabotage you could say the whole thing where she actually gave an advice which was a lame one the heart shaped whatever um <clears throat> so <laughs> like if you think about it i guess you could say nagisa's uh intuition 
was kind of on point you could say like you know like obviously the guide had no idea but at least the girl was trying to actually you know like get uh you know like sabotaging the whole thing but <laughs> But the guy had no idea, obviously. Now, uh, so, obviously, at first I thought, like, alright, she is being a little bit too paranoid. Like, you know, this will be, like, this whole comedic thing where she'll be, like, you know, bringing up, in, she'll be bringing up uh, small little things, which, <clears throat> you know, uh, which is the reason why she's, like, you know, uh, it's suspicious of them. The funny thing here is, like, she actually brings up a few things which really did seem weird i was like what the hell like they're going to karaoke and uh what else uh like you know having a meal and everything i'm like wait what's happening and the first thing was obviously very rival them just talking about it but then like you know the things the proofs that she starts bringing up was i, I was also i was like wait what's happening here but then as soon as we, we saw the picture of them shopping i realized that it's probably something like that like she she's like you know like asking for uh advice on birthday present or some kind of present now this is like you know like the reason i was able to get this is because this is one of the most common tropes of uh, like you know rom-com animes you could say or rom-com um visual novels where like you know this whole thing happens where one person asks the other girl for help and helps him but like you know choosing a present while the person who she, he is involved with sees that and gets suspicious jealous blah 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 this this is like a whole trope you know and uh, it's either that or there's another trope common trope where it's actually the sister you know like the other person like you know the the one who is in she, he's involved with sees them and thinks that oh he's cheating but obviously not that's the sister so i like in one point of the reaction i said maybe it's the sister and then i was i realized like no they're not sister siblings like their classmates <laughs> i realized that i was like no that trope couldn't happen here so it was obviously this trope that is asked help to a fellow like you know uh, um, uh like you know like uh, not fellow but you know like her friend asked her help so that she could give him some advice about what she likes because they're both friends and you know like help him out choose a appropriate gift so there you go that was the whole thing so but obviously the whole process like you know that was extremely hilarious the way they comedically did the whole thing where nagisa was like <laughs> the whole thing was like you know um okay where is that part um the part where the narrator actually narrates that okay here we go like you know the border this part was hilarious the definition of cheating varies from person to person okay to some just dining with a member of the opposite sex count as cheating why whereas some others are fine with over thinking as long it's just a fling a person's concept of here we go romancing is posed by when he or she draws the line at cheating yeah and obviously kaguya has like you know kaguya is obviously very critical about this because you know she she doesn't want any of this like you know and she kind of projects herself and like you know shirogane in this whole situation <laughs> <laughs> which was extremely hilarious because you know was like at first you know was like wait they're just talking like you know what, what's the problem with that but as soon as the whole karaoke thing came in the whole thing reversed because me uh, you know she is obviously like all always like you know talking about discipline this and that so the whole thing with karaoke boxes being used for those type of things you know she was like oh that's definitely cheating while kaguya here she was like no it's not because she she remembers the whole thing with shirogane and she is like no that like you know, that that doesn't count as cheating because she does not want to believe you know because as i said she actually is projecting herself and shirogane in that situation and as shirogane went to the karaoke place and the whole thing with hasaka happened she doesn't want to believe it and she was like completely like you know 180 and that at least at that moment and then comes in the thing of like you know studying i think yeah i think the whole starting situation comes in and uh okay yeah here we go um no then the whole private detective comes in you know and uh like you know the, the whole the, the whole thing about like you know them snapping pictures and uh like you know the them going to the what do you call it um, 
the mall to buy stuff then karaoke then uh, at the diner so <laughs> at the diner the whole starting thing kaguya was definitely not having that because she was like here we go here's that part here we go because like just because he had someone tutor him kaguya was like you must never forgive him because obviously like you know the starting whole thing is very like you know kaguya and shirogane both of them they are like you know like top of the class and everything and i feel like she again probably projected himself uh, herself and shirogane in that position and she was like no definitely not if if shirogane wants someone to ask like you know tutoring for it should be me it should be in no way someone else and <laughs> and she was like you, you should definitely not forgive him like i love this part where basically she uh, kaguya and ino had both their own like you know uh vision of this whole thing both their own borders as they said and the way the whole thing was changing it was, it was fantastic and then in the end obviously like you know they go the whole thing is confronted uh the girl nagisa is like so yeah what do you have to say about this and he brings out the necklace and puts it on her <laughs> and complete 180 she like you know just turns and <laughs> just starts <laughs> it goes all out like you know, the whole censorship <laughs> and you know the whole scene and my god <laughs> that was something now the funny thing here is um the girl who actually recommended this she she she's like oh i recommended this because it's lame like i i, I don't really i don't know, know how is it lame i i really don't understand <laughs> but the girls were like it's lame i'm like so okay i guess like you know i have no idea about these type of things but you know like she she also recommended it because it was lame and she thought that uh, nagisa would be disappointed in him unfortunately you know like love is a strong thing so yeah as soon as your beloved ones gives you something however lame it is obviously you know it, it won't work <laughs> the person will definitely be happy so there you go and uh, yeah like happy ending i guess the next part is the other girl um what's his her name maki shijo maki shijo okay that's her name maki you need to remember that okay so maki she in the next scene we see she was like uh, the guy the guy was like oh thank you for helping maki this that she was like oh it's okay it's fine and <laughs> nagisa was like okay it's like you know it's good that you helped him but please don't do that again like and i was a little bit like you know kind of concerned about that whole situation and she was like, ah, don't worry about it. Like, ha, I would like, you know, definitely not have feelings for this guy. Ha, ha, ha. Goes away and completely defeated, just lies down on the ground. <laughs> Where she like, completely stops her. Okay, so I really was not expecting this combination where Shirogane and Ishigami would find her and, uh, you know, like, would actually help her out. Like, you know, like, give her the word that they'll be her accomplices. So we get to know the actual uh, relationship between her and uh, Kaguya, their distant cousins or something, and uh, which obviously was like you know we were able to understand after that why she's like like that. It, it, it's definitely very um you know like uh, what can I say like it's it's very understandable the way she was acting like she and Kaguya they are the personality are so same and the, both of them are just so similar and uh, my god <laughs> she was like oh like you know like i am this person you know like the like you know, the third in what, what did he say she say like third third rank in, in studies or something she said like that i don't I, I can't find that part and she's like why would i even consider myself like you know like dating that guy that's like you know like she is like he is in no way uh, like you know, okay, uh, you know, like okay for me, like me, uh, one of the shinomiyas, and then she starts crying. <laughs> I got reminded of Ka uh, Ka the first uh, like an episode of Kaguya Sama, where I I remember Ka Kaguya also said something like this. She was like, oh, if like you know, if president wanted to date with me, date me, then maybe I will, you know, like uh, there's no like she said something about like there's no. Uh, like you know lack of people you know for me so yeah if president really wanted to like you know date me then 
uh, maybe I would, you know, like that whole thing. I got reminded of when <laughs> Maki was saying that. <laughs> and yeah, she is definitely like, you know, Kanga's cousin. We, we can see that, like, you know, the, her, all her expressions and everything, the way she talks, the way he, like, you know, she says everything. It's just Kaguya. And, and, but I feel like she is a little bit more extreme than Kaguya. That's probably it. I feel like Kaguya it doesn't even take it this far. Um, she is a little bit more extreme than Kaguya. But yeah, she is just trying to convince herself. She's like, oh, this will all go away, you know? Like, you know, it's just a little fling, you know? Like, I will allow that, you know? I will allow that and, you know, like, no problem. Like, you know, this will only work for how much? Like, one or two year? Something? Like, it's just going to go away. And then, like, you know, saying that, she just starts crying. And her mood swings are amazing. Now, oh my god, Ishigami tried to... <laughs> I don't know what he tried to do there. He was like, oh, why would you do that? Like, you know, like, like he's like, waiting is hard, isn't it? And then he, he starts blabbering. He's like, uh, like, you know, oh, like, you know, like, if we went to, like, you know, some amusement park and... Uh, okay, where is that part? Okay. <laughs> he says, even when you go to an amusement park together for the first time, he'll be thinking deep down, ah, I've been here with my ex. And oh my god, he keeps going. Doesn't stop. And <laughs> she is just depressed. <laughs> okay, so that was that and she is extremely pissed off about the whole situation and she's like oh i i'm definitely going to like you know not allow this blah 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 she's like you, you know like i'm going to do whatever i like you know can to break them apart this that and then all after all of that she's like will you to help me <laughs> and uh, Kami, uh, shiogane and ishigami is like yeah i, I can't say no by like you know damn it i can't say no with her looking so cute all of a sudden and shiogan is constantly and continuously thinking i feel like i've seen it that type of a uh, behavior before which obviously like you know like uh, as soon as kaguya gets in she he realizes that it's actually kaguya's personality and oh my god that scene was horrifying she actually called kaguya auntie i'm like what like you know what this is the thing like, I feel like here, like, you know, this kind of, like, you know, is more because of the translation. I feel like auntie is something, I guess, still, like, you know, kind of, um, what can I say? Like, you know, like, if you call someone auntie and they're, like, young, it, it is kind of weird in a way. The person also gets, obviously, the person who you're calling auntie, they'll also get a little offended. But I feel like, you know, like, auntie, which translates to obasama or obasan, is in, in Japanese it has even a bigger impact because Obasan also means grandmother, right? Isn't it? Yeah, like I think like this is the thing. You know, auntie is Obasan, grandma is also Obachan or Obasan. Something like this. So I don't know, I feel like the, the impact is even more. And you know, like <laughs> Suddenly calling Kaguya, who is, how old is Kaguya? Like, 17, 18, something like that? Like, calling her auntie, I'm like, my god. Like, Kaguya's gonna get pissed off. But she says like, oh, like, our relationship is that, you know, because we are distant cousins, this and that. You know, like, I am supposed to call you this. <laughs> we are from the branch family. So, yeah, nothing you can do about it. Like, she, she had her... You know, like, excuse ready. And Kaguya was definitely not impressed, but she's like, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> when she leaves, she drops a bomb. She's like, <laughs> these two thought I was cuter than you. I just leaves. <laughs> I love the fact Ishigami, Shirogane tries to slowly go away. Ishigami escapes. Kaguya completely just straight, like, you know, shoots, like, you know, straight at uh, Shirogane and in, is in front of her, like, you know, pissed, him pissed off. And he, he's, she's like, oh, really? You, you said that? Like, what, what made you say that? You know, the face? Is it the face? <laughs> <laughs> I 
and yeah then shogun is thinking like oh it's i can definitely not say that it's because she reminded me of you <laughs> oh my god that was funny all right the next part uh, the final part uh Shirogane uh, is talking about, not Shirogane, but the other, his friends are talking about the group date and Kaguya and uh, Chika was outside. Kaguya obviously hears that and um, Shiro, here, obviously Shirogane here is extremely, like, you know, afraid of, the, like, you know, not afraid, but she, she, he gets extremely concerned because he thought like, okay, Kaguya here heard it, but the thing here is Kaguya knew about it, uh, which Shirogane does not know. That's why Shirogane was concerned about it. So... Like, you know, it was not a shock to Kaguya because Kaguya himself was involved with that whole thing. So Kaguya just started thinking about that whole situation and, uh, you know, like she asks Chika, what do they do in these group dates? And Chika says like, wait, I have also not gone there, so I don't know. But I have heard they play these games. And she brings up one game called the 10 yen game where it's basically it's an interesting game you know like um where you flip the coin and no no not flip the coin sorry uh you ask a question yeah you know like the others like say yes or no like according to the sides and put it under a handkerchief and i think everyone mixes it yeah that's what they did mixes it and then opens and like there's like five of them and like you know you're going to see how many of them are yes and no and it's going to keep like you know bring out a like a little mysterious thing and uh, you know like who say is saying yes who is saying no it's kind of it sounds kind of interesting you know like that's that's a that's a solid game i have to say like especially uh, in group dates you could say and uh, all right so that game they're going to play so the game starts uh, with the five members here <laughs> okay and <laughs> they brought a lie detector as well which was hilarious <laughs> oh my god so okay the game starts the first question is okay what was the first question okay oh is there someone in love i think is that what okay. Yeah, hence if you admit to being in love right now. Okay, the, like, you know, the, the game starts and so here's the thing. I... Okay. Where is it? Three of them, I think? Alright, so, okay, I went to that part. Um, so, Kaguya says, like, oh, I'm not in love, but I will throw them a bone. Yes, I'll say yes. So, Kaguya was yes. I'm pretty sure Shirogane also said yes to the results are three okay is it th three okay so here's the thing I'll, I'll try to see okay um Shirogane and uh Kaguya Kaguya obviously said yes I'm pretty sure Shirogane also said yes because the way Shirogane acted there he's like wait three that's a lot okay Ishigami's um, reaction, I feel like Ishigami probably said no. Wait, that, does that mean that Miko said yes? Like, I don't see Chika saying, answering yes. Yeah, okay, you know what? Miko probably said yes. Because she's unusually quiet here. No, wait, she, she does say for real. Okay, I have no idea. Like, obviously Shirogane and Kaguya said yes, but the third one, I have no It's either Chika or Miko. Either of them. Ishi, Ishigami, I, I, like, the way he's behaving, I don't think he's the one who said yes. It's either Miko or Chika. Uh, my guess would be Miko. Miko probably said yes. So, okay. Miko said yes. Oh, it's probably for ah, it's for Chika. Hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It's probably for Chika. For Chika, she she put yes or something like that. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's probably that. I'm like, who? Why did she answer? Yes? Like, this is all just a guess. You know, I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Like, you know, who answered yes or no? Never mind. Okay. So the next question. Shirogan, uh, Ishigami is like, oh, is there anyone who hates me or doesn't like me? 
one one was like you know the result one of them <laughs> now here i think it's very obvious it's very obvious that uh, chica probably put a yes i don't know why she did that so <laughs> because you know chica was kind of fidgeting there so okay the, the i don't know whether to say funny or sad the thing is ishigami was actually so happy seeing that only one person said yes which means he was probably expect, expecting more than three and <laughs> that's sad thinking about it you know that amount of uh, like you know uh, what do you call it uh negativity yeah uh, my god <laughs> like he was not surprised that even one came yes he was actually surprised that there's so many like you know people did not say yes that's what he was surprised with and happy about um i don't know why i, I feel like chica probably put yes i don't know why she did because obviously shirogana would never do that uh ishigami himself put no uh, uh, uh kaga would also not do that um I don't think Miko put that. It, it's Chica. It's definitely Chica. So <laughs> I don't know why was was she trying to mess with him or something. It's probably something like that. The next one, uh, you know, Miko. This one was where she says like, "Oh, does any of you feel that I am annoying?" And obviously everyone says no, and she's like, you know, happy about it, and uh, <laughs> She's so happy, like Ishigami is like, oh, you should definitely not go on a group date. You're going to get a, take an advantage of. And here we go. The big brain game starts. Kaguya is like, all right, I've memorized all the numbers, all the years. And uh, yeah, like I'll ask the question, the big question. And she saw that um, the president had which one? 18 okay two coins dated 1981 one dated 1989 the one the president took is 1989 there you go and oh my god akame was like yeah i've got him so she's like if he tells yes then it's over if he tells no then the lie detector test simple enough and she's like all right who has feelings for me here and uh, Okay, the answer comes in, and one of them is head. Uh, so <laughs> she checks. Okay, nineteen eighty one was the one which was yes, and then she sees that there's two more nineteen eighty one coins. So three of them. That means one of them was changed, which shows that the president was even ahead of it and he, he knew this was going to happen so he had i don't know how the hell he had a 1981 coin with him like that particular year i have no idea but we, prob we probably had a lot of them a lot of the coins in her pocket in his pocket so one of them was probably 1981 or, or i guess he could he probably would have changed it to something else if he did not have 1981 coin so yeah kagya loses here unfortunately so next, Shirogane is like, all right, so who used <laughs> like, you know, like a, a, a cheating method to determine like, you know, like who is answering what? And I knew there would be a lot of lot more. I said three and you know, like I said, I think I said two or three. I think I said something like that. Turns out it was three. So here's the thing. Um, three so it was basically <laughs> ishigami kaguya and chika three of them three of them knew what was happening and they knew about the dating thing and the date so <laughs> shirogana obviously also realized it but he did not use that method miko had no idea this was happening so oh my god like they were actually <laughs> keeping track <laughs> on who is answering what and yeah like i knew it was like i knew chika knew that this uh, this type this method i was surprised that ishigami also realized this and was using the same method so uh, that's why i said two or three like uh, and there you go it was three okay and then in the end we see uh, kaguya and shirogane alone 
and Shirogane says like, oh, like you know, like I think you heard about that, like you know, that group date thing. So like you know, here to clear all the confusion. You know, I did go there and I did ended up like you know taking a girl outside, but nothing like that happened. And you're the only one that I wanted to know about this. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I did not realize this when I was reacting to it. So Shirogane is like, you're the only one that I want to believe. Uh, want me to believe. Um, you're the only one that I hope that you believe me. And he asked, do you believe me? She is like, who knows? Puts like, you know, the, the, the coin and puts it, I think, head. She says, do I or don't? And it's head. I, I saw, I'm seeing it now. Which means, yes, she believes him. Shirogane obviously wasn't able to realize that. So, yeah. Now, <laughs> that's how it ended. Now, here's a good thing about this. You could see that Shirogane, you know, like, was genuinely, like, obviously, like, you know, concerned about the situation. She, he did not know that Kaguya was the one behind all of this, the whole Hasaka situation. And uh, that's why Kaguya herself was not that much concerned about it because she knew what was going on. Uh, but here's a good thing, like Shirogane actually realized that Kaguya heard him and he thought that maybe Kaguya is thinking about it and having some, you know, like some other, what do you call it, like misunderstandings. So he actually, like, you know, came, like, you know, out with everything and she, he actually told the truth there. He said everything that he did there. The first thing he said was like, oh, I did ended up going there. And the thing that you thought, like, you know, I did, like, you know, started talking with a girl and I did take her out. But after that, nothing happened. And this shows that, you know, like he, he actually tells the truth here. He could have just, like, you know, tried to, uh, what do you call it? Like, you know, not go in that direction. Probably, like, you know, keep quiet about it. Or like, you know, obviously he didn't have to lie. He wouldn't have to lie. He could have just avoided that talk, like, you know, that whole situation. He could have just said that, oh, I went there, but yeah, like, nothing to worry about. But he actually says the truth, which is the good thing about him, you could see, you know, like, and I feel like Kaguya was probably happy about that as well, because he came, like, you know, he actually told her the truth and she knew what was happening, but the, like, you know, he actually had the courage and, you know, had the, what do you call it? um integrity i think is that what you call it yeah to say the truth and that's what he did and that's the best thing about thing about this whole section and i feel like i was happier because of that because he told the truth uh, yeah so yeah that's how it ended and in the end there was a little section where love detective chika is like who is the person kaguya likes um i feel like chika fails in this like you know what do you call it like you know in this whole love detective thing because um this is extremely apparent who kaguya likes if he is not able to realize that <laughs> i'm sorry you <laughs> you're definitely not fit for a love detective then chika you need more training <laughs> so yeah and that's it that's where it ends fantastic episode oh boy every episode is a joy this is such a great show so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to kaguya sama love is war Season 3, episode number 3. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Kaguya-sama Love is War. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.